So welcome to the part 31 of this playlist. So this is my YouTube handle. You can search for videos, posts, shorts. You can click the join button below this video or refer the link in the description. Become a cloud kernel member. It will give you access to important questions that will also be required to pass the certification so this question is a compliance question and you want to comply automatically and what are the benchmark you want to use you want to use this cis aws foundation benchmark see you moved into cloud you do not know much about cloud environment don't worry use this benchmark standards to set up your security configuration best practices it has all industry accepted best practices so use this as a guide and set up your environment the security of your environment see compliance of what compliance of your resources on aws what can be a resource the resource can be ec2 instance or it can be amazon redshift or a database like amazon rds see what happens when we say follow best practices and those things compliance your configuration of ec2 instance your database that should not change see you know that okay i have to comply to this standard so i have to use this type of instance i cannot use a lot more bigger instance now you want to comply to that okay suppose someone comes and changes it who will first know about it aws configuration will first know about it aws configuration is used for audit and those things so that is something that's why we should choose an option which aws configuration so what it will do is it can audit every time and say hey you know what somebody changed your configuration the first thing we are doing is we will record all resources in all regions all global resources point one we have to first record then we enable security hub it is a posture management service and see here please note this is used for best practice checks and automated remediation also not only it will check it will also fix not only the doctor will say you have this problem they will also give you medicines to fix it and this way we can confirm that the foundation compliance standard is enabled so this option looks correct a is correct the inspector is just like a cop okay it is used to uh, catch bad players it is not used to you know monitor and ensure you are following your standards or not if you see the stock market people somebody put a complaint that adani some problem happened so the cops are not coming it is the auditors auditors like config they come and say okay let us go through the past and see who changed the configuration or what happened and so on so here there is no work of inspector okay inspector is all about identifying bad players for vulnerability management they will catch thieves murderers and so on now we have one more option option d which is same as config see the problem here is instead of security hub they are saying we will enable inspector so inspector has no role here like i explained already it will not uh, work like a security hub okay inspector is to catch thieves security hub is all about you know like stock markets somebody has to audit and etc so if people are not doing fraud buying or selling or manipulating that is what security hub is used for security checks and centralize your security alerts so this is your security hub it works with guard duty config inspector and so on these are all integrated solutions here it will conduct automated security checks for all resources our question here you see 
uh, in this option we are recording for all resources that is what is required so this option is wrong so this would be my final answer now let us look at this question see this is a question on uh, accounts primarily and cloud trail and the requirement says that there should be at least one trail configured for existing accounts all accounts so now here we uh, try to see uh, the question is saying that which set of actions security team should implement okay for what because they want at least one cloud trail configured for all accounts and for any account that is created in the future and the problem is that for some accounts it is not capturing the trail logs so that means we'll have to first edit it might be a scenario that that trail log uh, in the organization master account it has not been applied to the entire organization so we should first do that option c you see, see option c now the other thing is uh, if you deploy a lambda function in every account to check if there is an existing trail so b is saying that you deploy a lambda function in every account and check if there is a trail and create a new trail okay so see lambda just because lambda is uh, uh, a two rupees person you cannot put lambda everywhere the two rupees person cannot do uh, all the jobs it, it does not have that skill because two rupees person will do job like two rupees person only primary lambda we try to use to invoke certain things or we want to uh, process some data must slightly massage it because lambda will die in 15 minutes so anything that can be done in 15 minutes like data processing or something that or we can invoke other code and etc that is a purpose in terms of cloud trail etc we don't have a purpose here now, option a is saying that you create a new trail okay you create a new trail and configure it to send trail logs to s3 and then you use uh, watch events to send notifications if a trail but uh, it is not telling you that you have to associate that with all accounts uh, entire organization that information is missing here so that's why i would mark this wrong and d is saying that you create a scp to deny cloud trail delete or stop uh, that means you are assuming that uh, cloud trail was on but somebody stopped it or deleted it that is why this problem is happening so you are saying i will create a scp scp is a policy it is just like a policy you create automatically it will say somebody is trying to delete it will say deny you cannot delete okay but this problem here it does not seem that it will have it is because of this issue that somebody deleted it uh, uh, this is my final answer okay now here this is the next question See, in this question it seems a malicious attack happened or attempt was made and guard duty caught it okay your security guard in the apartment complex caught a thief the thief was from a country where the company does not operate so what it is saying is uh, the security engineer needs to deny access to the malicious actor what is the first step they should do the option a is wrong because it is telling that it will go to the security group and remove so how do you know that it it had this open access open for all open for the internet we don't know that nobody does that kind of stuff and the system manager report will help you so it is saying that put the agent on ec2 and run an inventory report so this will tell you about the nodes how well it is utilized and so on it will not tell you about the hacks so this is wrong then it is saying you install inspector agent and run an assessment the cv means common vulnerability and exposure it it can tell you if your ec2 instance it got exposed or not boss we already know that right didn't the question say that this was found and security engineer confirmed that there is a malicious actor we already know that so why will you want to use cv and know again the same things so now d is the only option left which can be our answer so first thing we have to do is we have to remove all access that this malicious actor had this they can have access they cannot have so what they use is they used api keys intended for ec2 from a different country it may be 
his own access keys or some other, not his own, some other's access key he used. So, uh, why we are telling he and not she? Because uh, majority, like 99%, any hacking or this kind of activity, I have seen it is a he. I have not seen much of female people, female crowd doing this. So option D, you have to open the console, revoke all IAM sessions that are associated with the instance profile. See, what does instance profile do? It will pass IAM role to EC2 instance. Okay. So first you have to do something there itself. So this would be my answer. So if you have not yet subscribed, please do so. This is the handle of this channel. You can search for shorts and so on. But the most important thing, there is also an option, a join button below this video or use the link in the description. Become a cloud kernel member and gain access to so many new and important questions. So together, the content which is available free as a subscriber plus the content that is a paid content um, in the cloud kernel membership together you can you know be very sure about passing the certification it will help you to a great great extent to pass the certification now this channel is dedicated to cloud certification so whether it be aws azure google cloud snowflake tableau so it is all about these certifications so enjoy your time learning and see you in the next part.